Well, I'm about uh, two kilometers off of the trail. Hopefully I'm far enough in here that nobody will bother us. And bring you another episode of Econo Challenge Tips and Tricks. <laughs> got here and decided to collect a few of these logs that I'm going to need for this project but I want to show you what I found over here. It looks like somebody else has built a shelter here and it's not exactly what I would call a bushcraft shelter. We're using looks like hockey tape possibly and nails to put it all together. Ah, the sun is starting to warm things up a little bit. That'll be good. Now this video comes to us from Alone Wolverine 1984. I believe is broadcasting from somewhere in the Austrian Alps and we will put a link to her video below so that you can see it. Now we first tried this idea for a bench and it comes out of page 157 of the SAS Survival Handbook. And if you do it as the handbook describes it is not very stable and we actually abandoned the idea until now hopefully when I'm done this will be a simple bushcraft raised bed shelter not exactly what you would call a bushcraft shelter I think we'll be able to do better than that hey let's get this show on the road and for this project, all I'm going to need is a saw and some heavy twine. Okay, to start this project, you have to build a tripod like this, which of course you make into a chair. Oh, and it's a good thing too, because I need a little break. Oh, I love being out here. Almost done. Mm. You'll need a second tripod like this one for this project. Good and sturdy. Okay, and what I've done is I've put these two chairs together like that. And then we add a ridge pole like so. Good. I want to take a second to point out that that ridge pole is critical to the stability of this project. Now this is made out of 100% polyester, weighs about 270 grams, and it is going to hold up much better than the cotton Lily demonstrated in her video. And I appreciate that because that's the beauty of YouTube. I don't have to repeat her mistakes, I can build on them to try and reach that goal of success. Did you hear that? That's not a good sign. And what you're looking at here is failure number one. Needed stronger wood. Now, see it laid out like this, it reminds me of a stretcher, which is another idea that comes out of the SAS survival guidebook. If you have an old style square uh, sleeping bag, you simply run the rails down each side and use it as a uh, stretcher to get an injured person out who can't walk. So the real test is will it be able to support me lying down? Find out. All right. 
to shoot and burn that over closer. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Whew. I'm off the ground like a hammock, but I'm flat like I'm camping on the ground, which gives me the option of sleeping on my side oh, or even on my stomach like I want to. Oh. Might give us the best of both worlds. And it doesn't weigh a lot because all of the supports you get from the wilderness. For cold nights, you can just put your down pad right in there like this one's a full length one but just like a hammock make sure that you don't put very much if any air in it at all and if you wanted to you could just stuff the inside of this with all kinds of warm stuff you've gathered from the wilderness use some 550 paracord and a prussic knot to allow you to take some of the tension off of your fabric what do you guys think? And here we have it with the tarp. Well, you gotta admit, this is pretty sweet. I'd like to thank Wooden Arrows for bringing this video to our attention. And I want to thank you for watching. Go out and enjoy the wild. Oops, no, that's riches. I can't use that one. And I want to thank you for watching. <laughs> of course, you know we're going to call it the Amazing Wilderness Camp Cot. You had to see that coming. <laughs>